So the other thing that I use a lot is a primary text frame. And I know a lot of people used to use the, what was it called, the master text frame back in the day. And it didn't work great, but no one ever told me why it didn't work, because it worked okay for me for what I was using it for. Apparently they wanted more, and they finally gave it to us with the primary text frame. And once I realized what it was doing, I realized it was a, a, a really cool thing. So if I come in here, I've just got this. I've got three pages, three master pages, and I didn't realize till today like how hard it is to see. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and come in here. Hopefully you can see, well, if I select it, you can see that I've got some uh, text frames on the page. So if I roll over it. So on this page, I have a primary text frame. And how I got that, when I created a new document, one of the questions is, do you want a primary text frame? And you would click that and say yes. And what that does is it fills out a frame on your master page to the size of your margins automatically. And it has this little icon on it. If you roll over it, it will tell you what kind of frame it is. It says this is the master's primary text frame. You can have one text frame, or one primary text frame per um, master page. And it actually is a story. If you have two of them, like I had two on that one page, they're actually one story. It's considered one, one uh, primary frame. You can also have as many regular master page text frames as you want. But I have one in there, and it's set to the size of the margins. I also have this other master page that has these two, they're linked together. If I show my text threads, we can see that. I can see that they're linked together, and again, this is the master, I'm sorry, the primary uh, text frame. So, but they're set up a little differently. It's a wide uh, page for one thing, different orientation on the page, and I've got these two frames on here. I've got the same layout on this page, but when I roll over this one, it's just a regular one. So I'm gonna show you the difference between having regular text frames and the primary text frames. So I'm gonna come back here and I've got master page A applied to this. And the other thing you might notice is I can, um, when I bring in text, I can roll right on top of it and place that text inside there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place some text. And when I roll over it, you get the kind of rounded brackets that says, oh, there's a text frame here, let's put it in. I didn't even have to kind of pull it off the master page at all. It just knows, I roll over it, and I'm gonna click and just fill it with some text. All right, so I've got that, and also uh, it created an extra page there for me. I'm gonna, I'll just leave that, it's fine. Um, so when I come into one that doesn't have the primary one, if I use C and I apply that to, master, or to document page A by dragging it on top, it does say, you know, it's a different orientation. What do you want to do with that? I want to use the master page size, and that's great. So it will flip my page orientation for me. But this is what we've always been used to. When it flips, it's still sitting in that same frame that's sitting there. Because I put it on a page that didn't have that primary one, I can see my primary ones back behind. They're sitting there ready to go to work, or the, the ones that are there, not the primary ones, but the, uh, the frames that are on that page. But it kept it where it is. So I'm going to undo that. We're going to go back to where we were. So then I'm gonna to come to this one that does have primary ones, and I'm drag it on top. It's gonna to ask me the same question, do I wanna use the master page size? And I say yes, and when I do it, not only did it switch that, but it filled all that into those primary text frames. And because I have Smart Text Reflow on, it went ahead and filled in as many pages as I needed to finish that story. Um, in the same orientation and sizing everything that I had for my original um, <laughs> setup. But the nice thing is, it goes ahead and it changes that on that page for me. So anytime you switch from one page that has a primary text frame to another page that has a primary text frame, it automatically flows that text into that new primary text frame. And so that's a great way to have different layouts and know that your text is going to go ahead and, and move with each, each layout that you change to. Well, I hope you found that tip helpful. For thousands more InDesign articles and tutorials, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. Thanks for learning with us.